Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on, you know, where you are in this world. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today, God bless you. Today, we're going to be continuing in the book of John in the New Testament, in the King James Version of the Holy Bible, chapter 15. This is Jesus speaking, and he speaks throughout this entire chapter. He says, I am the true vine, or the genuine vine, and my father is the husbandman, or the vine dresser. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit, he plurges, or prunes it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word, or because of the word, which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same, for, same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. If a man abide in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered, and men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, Ye shall ask what you will, and it shall be give it, it shall be done unto you or for you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye may bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. This is when we say we are about our Father's business, we are to be giving our testimony, telling people about Jesus or as they say, planting seeds. And then our, it's up to our Father whether he watered them. And here, herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. Now, if you don't know what the commandments are, go to Exodus chapter 20 and read there where God gave the commandments. Verse 11, These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. That's Jesus' commandment. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And this is exactly what Jesus did. He laid down his life for his friends. I'm sorry. I just get overwhelmed at what he did for us. How much he loves us. Please follow his commandments. Please walk in his ways. Pick up your cross and follow him. He says, ye are my friends. If ye do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants. For the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my father. I have made known unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you 
or appointed you, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. He may give it you, which means he <laughs> pray to Jesus that when you have a need, ask Heavenly Father, and it's here. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained or appointed you, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. These things I command you, a command from Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, that ye love one another. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. When we have the Holy Spirit in us, we're not to walk in the ways of this world, but in the ways of the Spirit, which are holy and pleasing before God our Father. In the ways that his Son, Jesus, taught here in the Holy Bible. If he were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, Therefore the world hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you, The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake because they know not him that sent me. They don't know God. Pray for them. Anyone that you know that is not saved, pray for them. Pray that they turn to our Father and accept his Son. Pray for them. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak or um, they have no excuse for their sin. He that hateth me hateth my father also. I, 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 I can't even imagine that there are people on this planet that hate God. But there are. There's lots of them. And they're getting more and more bold. For they used to hide in the shadows. Now they're dancing in the broad daylight. And trying to push on us. Beliefs that are contrary to what God taught us. Don't accept it. Don't accept it. It says in this Bible. My children come out of her. This system, this world, walk in the spirit, not in the ways of this world, and after the lust of the flesh. He that hateth me hateth my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin, but now they have both seen and hated both me and my father but this cometh to pass that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law they hated me without a cause and we can cross-reference that back to 
Psalms 35, 19, 69, verse 4, Psalm 109, verses 3 through 5. Here we are back in John, verse 26. But when the Comforter, the Helper, the Paraclete, is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me, and ye shall all, ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. And of course here he's, he's speaking to the disciples, but he's also talking to us. We are disciples. It's, it's amazing how he has said, I have foretold you all things. And truly he did. And it's all in this book. That's why we should be reading it and studying on it. And if you don't understand something, ask him to give you clarification or understanding so that you can absorb it. And, and make that knowledge help you to walk in wisdom in the ways of the Lord. Well, oh, man, you know, he's so good to us. He loves us so much. And, and, and it's so simple what we have to do. He says, my, my burden is light and my yoke is easy. Meaning, it's not hard to follow his teachings. But we have to turn away from this world. He taught everything concerning our spirit and, and how to live righteous so that we can preserve our spirit and our soul to eternity. And as always, I love you.